Hi everybody, it is Zach here, tuning in from Mexico and I just bumped into a couple of friends that I hang out with yesterday and it was really nice to see them, the chances of bumping into them and I just wanted to give thanks I wanted to give gratitude for being able to be here right now being able to experience this place is just really good and I'm just so grateful to have been able to have lived here for the past five months. It's been a wonderful experience. It's going to be quite a different reality living back in the UK for a little while. But I'm really looking forward to it at the same time. It's another really nice, beautiful day here today. sun is shining with some nice clouds and it's not too hot and it's not too cold I've got a real taste for I suppose adventure and just living in places like this from my past time here now thank you universe for, for thank you Hey, hey, so today I'm actually doing a bit of writing, uh, working towards one of the action four of the eight suggested actions of FPG, which is our program of growth. And what I'm going to be doing and what I've found has worked really well for me is basically when I have to create something, when I have to like write a certain a certain phrase or something or come up with something creative for example <clears throat> one of the actions the fourth action at the moment we have it written down as I made a daily commitment to fully accept and give thanks for myself my life and the world right now to take responsibility for things I can control and surrender my will over to a power greater than myself now Personally, I don't feel that that really needs to be changed. But we are always wanting to improve this. And because this is such a new program, it's like we need to get it right. Uh, in the first instance, like at least we want to before we really share it out with others. And so I'm just going to sit here and just kind of channel in. I'm just going to get really mine and go into a meditative state and get very clear on, on what could come through for this. So, yeah, time to do some creative writing. And that's how I... It's what I've found has actually worked really well for me in the past. It's like, the exact, for example, like people that have writer's block, you know, just sitting there and removing or just coming to a state of no thought or or less thought and resting the mind and getting into that state of like almost being in the gamma brainwave state, that kind of level of lucidity in that way, almost close to the dream state. It can allow channeled messages to come through in that way. So that's what I'm gonna do. One thing I will not miss about Mexico and the jungles in particular is the mosquitoes. I thought after five months I got quite used to them, but oh, yeah, it doesn't take much of being outside and being O, o group, O blood type. Yeah, O negative blood type. They especially love O negative blood so <laughs> that's one good thing one positive about the UK there are mosquitoes there but they almost never ever really I just feel so grateful it's amazing what even a little bit of human con human connection can do for us you know just like making new friends and having amazing conversations 
Absolutely love it. That's one good thing about this um, this kind of personal development course that I'm co-creating. A part, or like a really fundamental part of the whole program is that you'll have like an accountability partner or you'll have, you'll be both an apprentice and a mentor. So you'll be an apprentice as you go through the program. So you have someone, a mentor who's helping you. And then when you've gone through the program to a certain point, you'll then be able to give somebody else your mentorship and help them through the program. And essentially a part of this comes with daily connection, daily outreach, which not only helps with accountability, but also just giving that sense of connection that I feel so many people really are crying out for especially post COVID and even during COVID, like that feeling of being connected was was a big deal for a lot of people. And even now is still is still existent. Like I noticed just on Facebook, for example, you or even Instagram or anything like that, you can unless you're like or well, reaching out to people and connecting to people in meaningful and w- ways that have real substance rather than just kind of superficial small talk in in Facebook comments and Instagram comments and things like that like it's just not the same as like having an actual conversation or like sending voice notes back and forth to someone to give that real sense of connection and I know for myself as well this is actually something that I personally have like it's hard to describe what I mean but it's like maybe it's a cultural thing from England especially um, this kind of coldness towards other people and not really wanting to connect or it's just me like kind of just feeling like I need to go things alone in a sense and just like work through challenging times on my own and yeah we don't have to do that we don't there's like eight billion of us here we can help each other and it always comes back around so yeah just creating that connection on a daily basis can be a real life-changing thing for people especially in these times and it's just felt really good and i just feel so grateful to to be making connections because i know i'm about to go back to the uk and it's like it's just not the same like like my friends either have commitments for example like they've got to go to work and like a lot of their time gets focused on that and if they're not at work they're recovering and sleeping and you know just living their lives and it's like trying to find time just to hang out with people is can be a challenge you know so it's it's just I've been I just feel really grateful to be also in a place like Tulum where it's warm all of the time and it's so things are much more open in this place uh you don't there's not so much of a fear of like oh it's going to rain tomorrow so we can't do this or it's too cold to go out and have fun in this way whereas here it's just warm pretty much all year round so it's like it's just it's a very different way of being uh, that comes with that just being able to just put on a t-shirt and shorts and just walk out your door um, and feel comfortable it's it just makes such a big difference anyway I'm really grateful for this place and I will certainly be coming back at some point. I don't know when. It looks like I'm going to be spending the winter or a part of the winter in England. Um, I've got some intentions that I wish to play out. So let's see how this unfolds. Much love.